How did Jonas Vingegaard win the 2022 Tour de France? Jonas Vingegaard crossed the finish line of the Tour de France's last stage with his head bowed and his legs churning. What a gentleman. He then clasped his palm over his lips as if trying to conceal a gasp. He had finished the work for which he had come, and he was beginning to realize the magnitude of his accomplishment. Well, welcome back to Cycling Right Now, everyone. If you're wondering how one won the Tour de France, you've come to the correct spot. Before we begin, please subscribe to our channel. Believe us, it's worth it. To begin with, Vignagard, a Danish rider who's 25 years old at the time, had won the Tour de France, cycling's most prestigious race, in only his second attempt and only three years after becoming a professional cyclist. His victory was not declared official until the race was completed and the traditional celebratory ride into Paris took place. Vignagard finished second in Saturday's time trial to Jumbo Visma teammate Wout van Aert of Belgium, but his effort on the 25-mile course was enough to give him such a large lead in the overall standings, three minutes and 34 seconds ahead of his closest pursuer, that the final stage was almost devoid of drama. However, the tour had practically been done for days when Vignegaard finished second to Wout van Aert in Saturday's time trial. Vignegaard evaded danger in the last laps of the Paris race, crossing the finish line with his teammates and finishing safely behind the bunch. His winning time was 79 hours, 33 minutes, and 20 seconds. We made a strategy and we followed it 100%, he stated, once everything was over. And thank you to everyone who worked behind the scenes and on the team. It has been a beautiful journey for us, and now that it's over, we can finally say we have succeeded. After nearly three weeks on the tour, Vignagar went straight to his girlfriend and toddler daughter in the area behind the finish line and gave them a long, sweaty hug. Vignagar had wanted a win for them while pedaling up and down all the interminable hills and merciless mountains, as well as through all the flat highways that passed by fields of flowers and farms. He had mentally prepared himself for them every day of the sweltering heat that reached temperatures of over 100 degrees at times, melted the pavement, and caused some riders to drop out of the race due to heat exhaustion. Vignegard, who grew up in a small fishing village in northern Denmark and went on to win what is often regarded as one of the most grueling tours in cycling history, triumphed in the end. Tadej Pogakar, a Slovenian rider, finished second overall, 2 minutes and 43 seconds behind Vignegard. Geraint Thomas, a British rider who won the Tour de France in 2018, finished third, 7 minutes and 22 seconds behind the leader. Pogakar, age 23, stated on Saturday that he was aware of the outcome and acknowledged it, saying, I think the struggle between Jonas and I was something extraordinary. His late sprint into the lead on Sunday's final lap was the only thing that resembled a surprise on that day, but he was quickly brought back into the lead group after his attempt. Rivalry with Pogacar? Well, when asked about his growing rivalry with Vignegard, Pogacar predicted that in the next few years would be quite fascinating for both of them. Compared to the previous year, he has made significant improvements. He's assumed command of the situation right from the start, and he has demonstrated he is a capable rider, Pogacar said. Pogacar expected Vignegard to be his toughest opponent entering this tour, given Vignegard's incredible second-place finish last year, but Pogacar's performance exceeded his expectations. When Jumbo Visma's leading rider, Primoz Rojlik, was injured and forced to withdraw from the Tour de France in 2021, Vignegard became second that year. Vignegard saw this year as an opportunity to shine, and he won the race in 2022. His performance was spectacular, and no one was expecting it at all. On the difficult ascent up Mont Ventoux, he overtook Pogacar and recorded one of the quickest times ever achieved for that renowned mountain pass. Well, did you know that? Vignegard's entire professional existence has been nothing short of a fairy tale, albeit one played out on two wheels and in fast forward. He had a part-time job in a Danish plant where he was responsible for cleaning, gutting, and packing fish into ice-filled boxes six months before starting full-time for Jumbo Visma in 2019. He attributes his current position at the pinnacle of the cycling world to the early mornings when he had to get up at 4 a.m. and perform strenuous physical labor while shivering in the freezing weather. His Jumbo Visma crew, particularly Von Aert, remained by his side throughout the race. Von Aert had a remarkable race of his own, wearing the green jersey for all but the first day of the Tour de France. The green jersey is given to the rider who accumulates the most points for stage finishes and in mid-race sprint sections. Van Aert's assistance to Vignegard may be considered his most significant accomplishment over the past month and a half. Van Aert was there for Vignegard on the arduous ascent of the Haltecam, which turned out to be the decisive stage in the overall competition, and Vignegard ended up winning the entire overall competition. 
At six foot three, he challenges the preconception that light, smaller riders like Vinyagard and Pogacar are naturally the best climbers by establishing a breakaway and ruthlessly dictating a fast pace. Pogacar, who was competing for the overall lead with Vinyagard, was unable to maintain his speed and began to lose position as Vinyagard and Van Aert continued to make advances, giving the impression that it was a vehicle with a sputtering engine as the Jumbo Visma teams continued to make progress. The Jumbo Visma team had already won six of the Tour's 20 stages before Sunday's final stage, but after the stage performance on Saturday, Vinyagard was confronted with questions about his fairy tale career. One reporter questioned him about his meteoric rise in the sport, asking how he could have finished 22nd in the 2019 Danish National Time Trial, then go on to finish so close to winning Saturday's time trial after just three weeks of the Tour. If Vinyagard had even a passing familiarity with the history of the Tour de France or racing in Denmark, it seemed possible that he was anticipating the inquiry. Bjorn Rees was the only other Dane to win the Tour de France, and he did it in 1996. Ten years later, Rees revealed that he had used performance-enhancing drugs to win the race. Now, according to Vinyagard, the reason he was able to run so quickly was not due to drugs, but rather due to hard work in the wind tunnel and the adjustments they made to his body position and bike, which resulted in this result. In his news conference, he refuted the charges and extended his denial to include the rest of his team, adding, We are clean, every single one of us. That is something I can share with each of you. According to him, Jumbo Visma's success may be linked to their utilization of high-altitude training camps and their thorough attention to preparation, including diet and gear and equipment, which he expressed to me as, that's why you have to trust. What does this imply? Well, it would imply that Vinyagard values sportsmanship. Pogacar and Vinyagard were racing down a hill during stage 18 when Pogacar lost control of his bike on a patch of gravel and crashed. Vinyagard was close behind, but instead of capitalizing on Pogacar's mistake, Vinyagard waited for him further down the road, allowing his competitor to catch up. Pogacar extended his hand in thanks once they reunited, and the two of them grasped hands in a moment that will be replayed for years to come as an example of the positive side of sports. Only one of them, however, was asked to celebrate on the Champs-Élysées, a stand atop the podium in Paris following the competition, and only one of them was able to participate in the photo shoot and create a family memory that will last a lifetime. And also, only one of them will be honored as the king of cycling in his country during this summer's festivities. The city of Copenhagen, which served as the starting point for this year's tour and the commencement of Vinyagard's triumphant adventure, is already arranging a series of rituals to honor Vinyagard. So for now, I think we're at the end of today's video, and I sincerely hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please make sure you give this video a thumbs up, smash that subscribe button, and press the bell icon too, so you never miss out on any updates. If you have any questions or comments on your mind, please let us know in the comment box. And for any other type of feedback you have, Make sure you leave that below as well. We always love to hear from you, our viewers. Make sure you check out our channel where you'll find some more really cool stuff. Hey, we sincerely appreciate you spending time out of your busy day with us today, and we'll look forward to catching up with you in our next video.